Hi, thanks for joining me for another core and stretch video. Uh, so in today's video, we are gonna be doing three core exercises. We're gonna do them for about a minute each and we're gonna do them twice and then we're gonna finish um, with some gentle stretching, mainly focusing on the lower body. All right, so I'm gonna get you to start in a nice, comfortable seated position. So that can either be cross-legged or on your knees, whatever feels good relaxing those shoulders and maybe closing your eyes and we're going to start together with three deep breaths inhaling exhale let's do that two more times inhale exhale last time inhale and exhale those eyes. Fabulous. All right, let's get started. We're going to begin with those core exercises. So come to your back. We're going to start in a boat twist. So for this one, your core is going to be engaged. Your feet can be planted if that feels more comfortable. Shoulders are relaxed and we're in a nice little V shape here. If you like, you can bring those legs up or all the way to straight, whatever works for you. From here, we're just going to twist from side to side. Beautiful. All right, so we've got about a minute right here. We're just twisting back and forth. Now you can change your angle to make it harder or easier. If you wanna to start to add in those legs, you can as well. Extending opposite legs. It's kind of like a bicycle a little bit, but we're sitting up. We're kind of bring opposite knee to opposite elbow. Beautiful. Or you just hold still and we twist. All right, from here, we're just gonna pause the top of that boat and pulse out those arms for a 20 count. We're headed there in five. Moving those legs if you want to. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, pausing at the top of that boat. Shoulders relax, arms out to the side. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, let it go. Nice work. Inhale. Exhale. Release here. Awesome. From here, we're going to stay on our back and do a reverse crunch. So you're going to bend those knees and you're going to bring them in towards your chest and you're going to keep that core nice and tight. With your arms by your side, you're just going to gently lift your hips up off the mat lower back down and gently extend those legs to a hover. Now, when you extend to a hover, I want you to only go to the place where you can keep connection between your lower back and the mat. So again, nice and controlled here, squeezing that belly to lift those hips and then keeping that connection between the lower back and the mat as you extend those legs. Fantastic here, finding your slow control, squeezing, keeping that core tight. Amazing. All right, we're here for about 20 more seconds. Then we're just gonna do a little knee drop. So you're gonna start with those knees at 90 degrees, and then we're just gonna do a little lower, and we're gonna pulse it out from there. Beautiful, all right. Coming to those bent knees at 90, in three, in two, and one. So. Knees are bent at 90 degrees, core is engaged. I want you to slightly drop the knees so you still feel a strong connection between that lower back and the mat and your core is fire. And we're gonna pulse here for 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Just a little drop of those knees. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one beautiful release let it go inhale exhale nice okay final core exercise we're going to come to our belly we're going to do a superman so your arms and legs are going to be extended from your belly so your arms can be straight out in front of you or if it feels better to bend those elbows to 90 degrees bend them to 90 legs are behind you we're going to lift using that lower back and lower down so lift and lower. Again, option, have those arms straight out in front of you, lifting and lowering, 
or if it feels better, bent to 90 degrees. Beautiful. All right, we're not gonna add on to this one. We're just gonna stay here for about another 35 seconds or so, breathing through. Now I want you to keep your gaze forward and your neck straight so that your spine is in one beautiful straight line here. Awesome. All right, last 10. Breathe through for three, two, and one. Nice, gently release. Let's take that left cheek, bring it to your mat, arms by your side. Deep inhale here. Exhale, release, let it go. Fantastic. All right, you're gonna bring your palms by your side. You're gonna press into those palms. Your hips are gonna come to heels. We're gonna take a quick child's pose here. Arms can be extended out front or they can be down by your side. Quick little reset here. We're gonna do that core work one more time. All right, nice. Coming back, setting it up. We're coming back into that boat pose. And we're gonna do that oblique twist from boat. Okay, here we go. Again, you can keep those feet planted, knees to 90 or straight if you like, holding boat, shoulders relaxed. And here we go. We're just twisting from side to side. Now, again, your option here is if you wanna to start to add in those legs, you can. Beautiful, <laughs> opposite knee to opposite elbow if you're adding those legs. Beautiful, otherwise we're just twisting here in boat. Fantastic, so the core is engaged, our shoulders are relaxed, and we're breathing, really thinking about twisting from those obliques as we come from side to side. All right, <laughs> a little reset. In five, we're gonna come to center, we're gonna pulse it out for 20 and three, in two and one. Okay, reset in center, shoulders relaxed, arms by your side. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, release, come to your back. Nice job, inhale. Exhale. All right. So next up, we know it. We are going to that reverse crunch. So your arms are by your side. Your knees are bent. And then we're going to squeeze that core to lift the hips off the mat. Slowly lower down and extend those legs. So you're just going to take your time here. Breathing your own breath pace. Squeezing that core to lift those hips. Holding that nice tight core as you extend those legs. Beautiful. All right, we've got about 30 more seconds here. And then we're just going to go into those knee drops one last time. So again, your knees are going to come to 90. We're going to do a slight drop and then we're going to pulse it out. So you just drop just a little lower for a pulse, keeping that nice connection between your lower back and the mat and a nice tight core. In three, in two, and one. So knees come to 90, slight drop, and we pulse. Squeeze that belly. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Don't lose that connection between the lower back and the mat. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. All right, one last little bit of core here. We're going to come to our belly and we're going to do that Superman one final time. So on your belly, your arms and your legs are extended out. Again, you can choose to bring those arms to 90 degrees. Here we go. So from the mat, we lift and we lower. So again, I want you to keep that neck in line with that spine. One beautiful straight line here. Thinking about using that lift lower back to lift and then we lower. 
floor. Back is also part of that core. It's just on the other side. It's not the same side as the abs. So sometimes we have a tendency to forget about it because we can't see it. But still, so important. All right, breathing here for the last 10. Last five, three, two, and release. Nice, all right, we're gonna take that right cheek, bring it to our mat, close our eyes, arms by our side, relax fully here, inhale, exhale, let it go, beautiful. All right, we're gonna do a stretch here to stretch out our spine while we're down on our bellies. So from here, I want you to take those forearms and I want you to bring them flat onto the mat with your elbows underneath your shoulders. We're gonna do a sphinx pose. Then we're gonna take that chest. We're just gonna gently pull it through here. You should feel a nice lengthening through that lower back. Beautiful, that should feel good after that back exercise we just did. So shoulder blades are down and back, squeezing together on your back as you press into that mat as your chest comes forward here. Nice. One more breath here. and gently release. You're gonna press into those palms. Your hips are gonna come back into your heels. Child's pose. Now knees can be together or they can be wide. Arms can be in front or by your side. And so for the first couple of breaths, I'm gonna get you to take child's pose however it makes sense for you. So you're just coming into that resting pose however it feels good. Again, maybe your arms are behind you. Maybe they're in front of you. All right, from here, we're gonna adjust our child's pose to specifically stretch out and lengthen that spine. So your knees can be together, they can be a little bit wider, but I want you to be able to draw your hips back towards your heels as much as you can. And so I have to keep myself propped up here a bit to do that, now however it makes sense for you. And then I want you to take your arms and bring them in front of you. Now, if you have a block or a pillow, if your head doesn't reach the mat, you can prop it underneath there to rest your head on. But what I want you to focus on is lengthening from your hips to your fingertips. So we're stretching out that spine. So you're gonna plant your arms nice and firm as you draw the weight back into your hips and you should feel a lengthening through your back here, through your shoulders, into your, your lats. We're just gonna lengthen out that spine. So drawing those hips down towards our heels as we press firmly into our mat, lengthening out those arms. You should be feeling that pull in opposite direction here. Beautiful, we'll take two more breaths right here. And beautiful. Gently make your way onto your hands and knees. We're just gonna go through some cat cow to do some spinal rotation. So on our inhale breath, we're just gonna bring our chest forward and through. And on our exhale, we're gonna arch that back like an angry cat. So we've got about seven to 10 breaths here, depending on your breath pace. And I want you to just take your time inhaling and exhaling at a pace that feels good for your body. Just opening up that spine here. Beautiful. Now, if there's anywhere along the way that you feel like you want to stop and explore or pause and hold because it feels good to do so, please do. This time is for you. For you and to feel all the feels that you feel.
there. We're going to take about two more breath cycles here. So taking your time, completing those cycles at your own pace. Beautiful. And once that's finished, you're just going to gently make your way onto your knees. We're going to go into a camel pose. Now this one, cut myself off a little bit here, is meant to open up that chest. So when we sit all day, especially at the desk, we're doing a lot of this. We're going to do some of this, okay? So I'm going to face away from you to show you this setup. Your toes can be tucked or untucked, whatever feels more comfortable for your body. You're going to place those palms just above your hips here, and you're going to press your hips and bring them forward. So as you do, I want you to think about lifting up your chest. So hips press forward, chest is lifted, and maybe you feel a really nice stretch right here, and already you feel that chest opening, and this is what feels good. Amazing. Otherwise, I'm gonna to come to this side and show you what it'll look like if you go into the fullest variation. You're pressing forward, and then maybe, 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 those hands are coming down to your heels, but again, you're gonna think about continuing to press those hips forward and lift that chest towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Breathing here. Two more breaths. Beautiful. From wherever you are, gently make your way back. If your hands are on your heels, you're going to gently bring them back to your lower back. Just slowly make your way back up and come back down to a seated. And if it feels good, maybe coming in to a quick child's pose one more time, extending those arms forward, lengthening out here. Beautiful. All right, from here we're gonna come into an inner thigh opener. So I'm gonna get you to come to standing. You're gonna bring those feet nice and wide apart, knees in line with toes. We're gonna bring our arms gently above our head, inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna come down into a nice wide squat here. And you're gonna take those elbows, and you're gonna bring them to the inside of your thighs. Beautiful, so they're probably in your inner knees. And as you do, you're just gonna press with those elbows out so that you feel that opening through your inner thighs. Now, if you have blocks or pillows and you need a little assistance, this is a good time to sit on them. You can place them underneath you and use them for a little bit of support. Otherwise, we're using those elbows to just open up those inner thighs here. Shoulders coming together on your back. Take about two more breaths here, inhaling, exhaling, last breath. Beautiful. All right, gently releasing, coming up, coming over those legs here. We're just going to kind of gently shake from side to side to release. And then we're just going to ragdoll up, slowly stacking one vertebrae at a time as you come up to standing. Beautiful. And then you're going to make your way back down onto your mat, and we're just going to extend those legs out forward in front of us. So we're going to start with our knees slightly bent here, and we're just going to hinge forward, and we're going to grab onto the outside of our feet. And then from here, you're going to see if you can start to slowly bring those feet a little bit more forward, allowing those legs to extend. Now, if they don't come all the way forward, you're gonna focus on this as a back lengthener. So you're just gonna to start to come, hinge as far forward as you can, focusing on that, extending that back. Otherwise, if you can straighten those legs out, this is gonna become a lengthening for your spine, but also, a stretch for the back of those legs. Now, if you can't make your way all the way, but you do want to stretch in those legs, you're just going to grab onto wherever you can. So maybe it's your ankles or your shins or your thighs, whatever, and you're going to keep that back straight as you extend forward. So wherever you are, you really want to think about lengthening that back and keeping it in a nice straight line here as we fold and hinge over those hips. 
And if your legs are in full extension or you're holding on to somewhere on your legs, we're also focusing on feeling that beautiful lengthening through the back of the legs here. And I just want you to breathe, inhaling and exhaling. Now, if some of you might be quite flexible, you can start to make your way down. Maybe even your face comes towards your knees. Again, not the end game, but if that's where your body's able to go, then by all means, take it where you're able. And we're just breathing here. Beautiful. From here, you can gently release those feet and slowly roll your way back up and back onto your back. We're going to take that right knee and we're just going to pull it in towards our chest here. So that left leg is going to be extended, right knee is towards our chest. And then we're just going to gently bring it out to the right. So we're going to pull towards us and out to the right here. You're going to bring that knee back to center and we're going to take it into a twist. So we're going to just bring the foot in a little bit to help you slide your hips to the right. You can extend that left leg and you're just going to bring that right knee over to the left. So arms can be extended or they can be cactus, whatever feels better to you. Your gaze can be up towards the ceiling or you can look towards the opposite fingertips of that right knee. So we're just in a nice spinal twist here. Again, left leg is straight. You can have a slight bend in that leg. Right knee is bent to 90 and twisted here. Beautiful, we'll take one more breath here. And then you're going to slowly bring that right leg back to center and just switch sides. So we're going to extend that right leg out. We're going to bring that left knee towards your chest, pulling it in right here to straight towards your chest to begin. Breathing. Closing those eyes if that feels nice here. Sometimes with those eyes closed, it allows us to become a little bit more connected to what we're doing. Beautiful, then we're gonna take that left knee and we're just gonna bring it slightly out to the left as we continue to pull forward. So slightly towards the left and towards our chest. Here. Beautiful. So from here, you can bring that right leg back in slightly to help you shift your hips to the left. We're going to extend that right leg out. We're going to drop our left knee towards the right. So again, we're in a nice spinal twist here. Your arms can be in cactus or they can be extended. Eyes are open or closed. And if you want, you can look towards the ceiling or you can look towards those opposite fingertips. Just breathing here. 
you have a pillow nearby and you want to take it, you can rest it under that, uh, under that left knee. One more breath here on this left side. Inhale. Exhale. I'm just gonna gently roll that leg back around, shifting those knees back to center. And then we're just gonna take our arms to cactus, bend those knees to 90 degrees, and I'm just gonna get you to gently windshield wiper those knees back from right to left. And it's just gonna release spine here should feel good after that twist. All right, from here, since we're already on our back, we're going to go into a hip opener from our back. So we're going to take that right ankle and we're going to cross it over our left knee and then we're going to grab either onto our left thigh or our left shin. And you're going to pull that knee towards you and you're going to open up that right hip. So again, just relaxing on your back here, you're pulling either on your left shin or left thigh and you're just bringing it towards you and as you do you should feel that opening through your right hip. Breathing here. Closing those eyes if that feels good. And maybe allowing your body to sink a little bit deeper with each breath. breath on this side. Beautiful. Release that left leg. Take those legs, maybe windshield wiper them out. Just release and then switch sides. So that right knee is bent to 90. We're going to take that left ankle now. We're going to cross it over our right knee and then we're going to take hold of either that right thigh or right shin and breathe as you pull it towards you, opening up that left hip. Once again, maybe closing those eyes if that feels good. Using the breath to allow your body to sink deeper. One last breath here on this left side. Inhale. Exhale. Release, let go of that right leg, uncross that left leg, and then again, just gently windshield wipering those knees from side to side. All right, we're gonna take one final stretch before we come to our back. So you need to come up one last time. We're gonna finish with our quadriceps. Big muscles, can't forget them. You're gonna take those knees mat width apart. You're gonna bring your he heels to either side of your hips. From here, you're gonna start to walk back. Now, right here, you might already feel the really beautiful stretch through your quadriceps. If that's the case, stop right here. You might be able to start to come down using blocks or pillows or just resting on your forearms, feeling that stretch, or maybe you're able to just come all the way down. Finishing here, last one, sinking nice and deep. Your arms can be cactus, or maybe you cross them over your head, resting one hand in the other, whatever feels good for your body. 
and again sinking a little deeper with each passing breath. Take one last breath right here. Inhale. Exhale. And from here, you can begin to slowly make your way back up. You're going to come either to a tabletop position on your hands and knees, shaking one leg out and then the other, or you're going to come into a downward dog here. In Downward Dog, we're just in a nice inverted V and we're just going to use this time to pedal out those legs to let that fresh blood flow back through here. Maybe pausing and holding. Beautiful. From here, we're going to gently bring our legs through and make our way onto our back to finish. Finding a nice corpse pose to end. So you're just going to come settle on your back here, arms and legs, gently taking up space and just settling here with one final breath together. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. I'm just going to take this final moment here to just rest, allow your body to sink into your mat, and absorb all the work that you just did. Feel all the feelings. Before we finish, I just wanted to take this last moment here to find gratitude, maybe towards just yourself for making the time and space for the self-care, or maybe it's just reflecting on anything or anyone you have gratitude toward right now. comfortable exactly where you are take this last few moments to just stay there otherwise you can begin to slowly gently make your way up into a comfortable seated position thank you so much once again for joining me i hope you are all well and safe until next time, peace and love.